Hello, what brings you here today? Well, where do I begin? I swallowed a piece of gum today and I'm really worried. The kids in my class told me that when you swallow chewing gum, it stays in your stomach for seven years. Can you please take it out of my stomach for it sticks? Wait a minute, that's just a myth. A myth? What do you mean a myth? That means it's not true. Let me explain the sticky truth. So, whenever you eat something, the digestive system is this machine that breaks down the food into nutrients and energy that the body can use. This machine starts to work before you even take that first bite of the delicious pizza. What do you mean? Well, when you smell the food or see it or even think about it, the machine turns on and saliva, also known as spit, begins to form in your mouth. When you take the first bite of that delicious pizza, the saliva can break down the food and make it mushy and easy to swallow. So the mushed up food is now known as a bolus. Your tongue can push this down and it travels through the esophagus, which is the next part of the digestive system. That's interesting. I want to know more. So the esophagus is like a stretchy pipe that moves the food from the throat to the stomach. Now, the next part is where most of the magic happens. The stomach is like this mixer that churns and mashes all the food together into smaller and smaller pieces so your body can use it for energy and nutrients. It does this because it has very strong muscles in the walls of the stomach and it has a special type of juice known as gastric juice which helps to break the food down even further because it's very acidic meaning it's very very powerful. After the food has been mashed and broken down it moves into the intestine. Here, important nutrients the body needs is absorbed and whatever the body does not need is passed out as leftover waste. Wow doctor, that is so cool. But I still don't know why gum doesn't stay in the stomach for 7 years. Well, gum is not food because you can't technically really eat it since it's meant to be chewed. So the digestion machine works differently here. But to understand this, we have to go over the properties and ingredients of gum first. Gum has artificial sweeteners or sugars, flavors and color, and softening agents that provide texture, and most importantly, a gum base. The gum base is what makes the gum gummy and sticky, and this ingredient is non-digestible and it provides no nutrients. So now let's talk about what happens when you swallow gum. In the mouth, the chewing gum cannot be broken down into smaller pieces, even with the help of saliva, so your tongue will push it down as one large piece. Eventually, this large piece of gum will reach the stomach. Some ingredients in gum are molecules like sugars and oils, which are broken down into smaller units in the stomach. But the gum base that I told you about earlier cannot be broken down by your body at all whatsoever. So when it passes into the intestine, it's not absorbed, but rather it's passed out of the body as leftover waste. So the gum can survive this digestive machine? Yes, the gum is partially digested. Our system is so complex that it can still move this through the intestine and expel it from the body in one to two days because it is waste. That does not mean that the gum you swallow today will stay there for seven years. So to summarize everything you learned today, basically swallowing chewing gum does not make you sick. And it does not mean that it will just collect together inside for seven years and make a huge ball that will block everything and stop your body from working. Wow, that is so cool. The systems in our body are so fascinating. Thanks, doctor, for the sticky truth. I'm going to tell my friends all about it.